reality on their map pick. This one's going to get exciting. The music's hyping, and the cats are jamming, Trace. Which, which means that y'all are typing. Yes. Of course, right inside the chat. We're back, though. You can continue cat jamming now. No Peppa Jams, though. Any of those will be promptly removed from the venue. Ooh. Lame, though. Trying to remove some heads down here. It's going to be poison. It actually finds the first kill. Looks for a second. Can't seem to back away because Zaiwu is just too quick with the Glock. Pop, pop. Ooh, there's a USP here though, and it's dropped the bomb. Blame F going back for more. There's so much utility. If he gets a kill here, the right place kill could drop all the grenades for vitality. Oh dear, backing up, pumping on the boost, but they're all short side. Blame doesn't need to worry about his sidelines as Oboe comes in to try and help. RBK crouch peak and Blame caught by Zaiwu with three. No armor needed and no grenades either. Look at the utility. That's, that's what they brought into the round and they leave with it as well. Not a worry for Vitality, who just went every single fight. And we're going to see a lot of that on this T side. It's something I hinted to in the pre-map. You know, Vitality, A side, Vertigo, they're obsessed. They're infatuated. And they're going to be going back again and again and again. And like, I've always wondered who can type the biggest essay on Zaiwu in Twitch chat. Oh, That's have you I've always, always wondered, wondered that? Yeah. Interesting. Well, surely we're going to find out at any second. Page is now oh. streaming in, of course. You can backpack. see the backpack. But sadly, he's been betrayed. Config over here, he's bought some hand luggage as well in the form of this Deagle. And he gets away with a bit of chip damage. Now try to rotate back into the site. And these AKs making it a bit claustrophobic, but only for a second. As the Deagle's now ringing on out, but they do overwhelm them. Oboe left in the clutch. It's down to what was a 1v3. Now turned 1v2. And he's got himself a deagle with his name on it. And there you go on this guy. Here he is, moving towards the smoke, looking to make the play happen. Ooh. And they've seen him. They know that Oboe's here. Is he going to go back again? Yeah, of course. Oh, dear. They're already crossed the CT, though. Surely, surely he's dead. How's he done this? Oh, Shocks hears it. Yeah. And he does go back to check Ooh. that out. It's a good thing that Oboe makes some noise there to give up the aim of the game. Vitality, they get that conversion. They go 2-0 and up, and they overcome the force by the complexity brought to the table. This was just not acceptable. The backpack sticking out, no damage done. And that wallbang wouldn't have uh, lit him up much either. Poor poison. And poor complexity as they don't have any money here. That's how Ecos work. Just back to the nades. Maybe stacking on the ramp or waiting for the bomb plant. Either or. But right now, Vitality, yeah. they're leaving A. And you know, it, it, the funniest part is this, Hugo. You look at this, you say, you know, Zaiwu is a skilled player. That is not, it's not normal. It's kind of very insane, actually, you know? It's not that they need to check his PC or his game, but it's just the simple fact that he's everywhere all the time at the right place at the right time. And yeah, that's it's, scary. It's not normally, man. It's not. I mean, he was born November 9th, 2000. He's a French professional Counter-Strike global offensive player. Currently plays for Vitality. He's an opera. Are you reading the essays that have been... No, uh, this is just off the top of the dome. He's often considered one of the best CSGO players in the world ever since his breakthrough in 2018. Speaking of breakthroughs, it's going to be Mac-10. He gets broken down. RPK is good for two, but so is a bomb plant. We're looking at four alive for Vitality, and well, y'all's essays, y'all are pathetic. Oh, that's just... Tut, tut. Vitality, they go B and they avoid the four nade buy of Cole on that eco round. No shenanigans, no cheekiness today. Vitality, this is their playground. Get off the roundabout. It's our turn. Poison with the orb. So I woo. You mean a merry go round? Yeah, that's what they call it over there. I thought like a roundabout is what you drive on. Yeah, but also it's what you like go around in, in a circle. In a circle yeah, 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 yeah. What do you call that? Merry go round. Howdy, they're like the ones that are automated at like fairs yeah. for us. Oh, we only do things automated in America. So. Oh. <laughs> see, we, we get, we like get the, the kids to push ours, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, we don't do that. It's, it's way easier of... now that I'm older because I can just bully them into doing it as well. <laughs> and it's it's like, uh... <laughs> yeah. All right. I took Look an anti-key pledge, so I would never do that. But... Look at Poison. Look at him go. Oh, well, actually, Zai Wu is the guy that we should be looking at. 
apparently. And now it's actually Convig, <laughs> who I was saying the whole time we should be keeping an eye on. He's doubled up here at the top of ramp, leaving RPK and Masuta against some pretty stark odds on the other side. But RPK does go back and get the better of Convig. Now look at this, Rush is aggressed in through mid, is coming in on this flank, so he's relying on Oboe to buy him some precious time here. Time is priceless. How's he gonna buy it? I mean, you could buy a watch. It's not the same as owning time though, which is exactly what Oboe has signed up to do, own in this time. Takes down RPK and Mizuta, and they put up their first round in this bout. Yeah, those flank timings are so important in a map like Vertigo, right? With very, with very difficult retakes uh, on this CT side, and they can often just get completely smoked off and spammed through the wall on those retakes. You know, you... you... <laughs> That's definitely going to yeah. get screenshot. Also this. Make sure everyone's grabbing this all at the same time. They go pretty much hand in hand, and it might actually be a synopsis of the match, depending how complexity you play this, this entire map. Shoxy Pog. But yeah, you don't want to come in too early on those those flanks on bottom A, right? So Rush being delayed is a good thing. It's, it doesn't matter. Obo wins it, but I'm sure we'll see more of that later in this CT side. It's something Vitality have yet to realize Cole uh, have been up to. It's the sentence I wanted to say. It's an interesting language you've chosen there. What exactly was it? Definitely not Portuguese. Oh, oh. Poison with the double up over here at the top of ramp. And my oh my, he sent Vitality packing away from A. And now they look for some refuge inside of this B site, but Oboe, the B master. Alternative name for a beekeeper here, looking to buzz his way to a victory <laughs> as this push is ready to come through. Configs wrapping around from behind. Oboe, what's that gonna be that, here? that queen bee as he's trying so diligently to hold on to ramp. Here comes the nades, and actually Vitality, they've slowed down a little bit. I just don't see it, Harry. There's no way it could possibly look like Beyonce. I just refuse to believe that it's possible. But you're right. He is the queen bee here, or at least the queen of the site. He's going to be playing it very close. But surely they're going to check that. It doesn't matter. The AK is going to come out on top. They're going to spam him down. And guess what? Spam. It's like a two-way street. It goes both ways. And that's exactly what we got. Yeah, spam in the can. And uh, complexity, they'll be eating good for weeks. Oh, All yeah. All three spam. players peak there off of <laughs> off the back of uh, Oboe close. Poison, not poison, Flame, Rush, and Oboe. Look at that, like three-pronged attack. They were so ready for the B play, and all of them get a kill apiece. Complexity piecing together two. Vitality, no money. We're going through the motions right now. Uh, Vitality going back to A, but a slow approach. Again, delayed by the smoke. Whenever I think of spam, I just think of my friend Sablon from the army, who explained to me that spam is delicious. And he also called me a Howley at every chance he got. So I don't know if that was a good or a bad thing. We'll find out in due time. Glock's out now for Apex, and of course the weapons are going to overpower whatever take Vitality just tried to have on the A ramp. Quick, fast round. That's how we like to see them, especially the rounds where there's not a whole lot of fruit that can come from this tree that is a no-buy zone. Yes, spam in a can. Yes, oboe, goblin, epsom. Itch day, ick day, pick Latin day. Oh, well, it's uh, it's RPK. Looking like the animal out here in mid as he opens up onto poison. And there is a five on four given over to Vitality right away. And look at them. Look at how they're trying to play around it. Look at what Vertigo does to people. Right, you get that kill. We ain't doing anything yet. We got a whole minute left to play with as they group up down here at the bottom of ramp. They've been quiet. They've been sneaky. They've given no hints and they sit with this advantage. But complexity, they're like, nah, we're going to take a gamble here. We're going to just pull everyone away from B and mid. We didn't see anyone in middle and it's probably going to be A. And lo and behold, 
It's looking like it's A. There's a flash getting set up to enable this peak, and the timing on the flash is very, very good. Oboe here taking names. He's in with another, and it leaves it on Apex and RPK. They might have taken the first man down, but now they've got men down all across the board. Mm. Apex left up all alone. And what could he even do? He doesn't even realize the sandbags is clear. He's cleared that out. He's doubled up. And he's given Vitality maybe a bit of a chance. Blame and Oboe still at short side. And Apex has no idea. They're looking to swing him. They're looking to take the fight. They're both pushing out at short right now. And Apex isn't even considering it. That's Oboe getting the better of him. And Complexity securing a fourth on the board. Yeah, and I think that, you know, with that seventh round in the bag going into our eighth, it's only time for the mod appreciation round, which is what Twitch chat and all chat should be doing right now. Appreciating your mods. We should just dedicate an entire round to that. And whether it's mods or appreciation or something. What mods are in the chat right now, man? Check, Who knows? Can, can you look at that? Is that something you know any do? mods or mods? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I can open it. You're right. Thank goodness. Really would have derailed this whole round. Also happened to be logged into someone's account. Let's see what happens. Oh. All right. Trace, I just oh. got an email from the bank. Someone said they tried try to withdraw all of my money. Yeah, how'd that go? Is that you? Nah, man. You my PC? But I am logged in the machine's account over here. And I am able to view the Twitch chat. Now I say that, we're talking Deagles doing a lot of damage and actually doing something. The bomb will get planted over the B bomb site config. Coming in from spawn, this is gonna be a three on three with the weapons favorable over here for complexity. How are they gonna go about it? It definitely should have ended this way. Like Vitality, they're feeling pretty good with this already config though. He's gonna make them feel a little bit worse for wear. Apex left in the clutch and he gets peaked and dealt with nice and cleanly by Blame F. So the bomb plant found. The Vitality, that's like, that's a pretty good round in and of itself. You know, you get two, you get into that B site, you get the bomb down, you make a bunch of money, you force some reinvestments for complexity. You're pretty happy with that. You know, it's not a round win, but damn, it's about as good a feeling as you can get from losing a round. One of the mods, Sint is his name. Not to be confused with Centaur or Seminar or any of the things that you guys like to talk about. Let's not go down that road. But they just want Machine to tell Machine. I know, man. That he looks nice today, and I agree. But dude, I'm going to take my horse to the Old Town Road. Oh, really okay. now? Yeah. Okay. How long are you going to ride it for? Probably until I can't no more, if I had to guess, man. Ah. It's a long time. Heck W. Ooh. Smoke on Apex. That's a deep CT one. They're going to be hitting this B bomb site in a moment. Cole only have one player here. It's Oboe. Lining up a nade could do horrendous damage. They're boosting, though. They will avoid it. Mostly. We smoke down. But they're going to go through that. The spam is good. It's random, but it's hitting. And Shock's getting put down low. Oboe with a reload. Going back in with a crash bang, and it's good. He's got two. He's so fine. Inside of the Molotov, Zaiwu will find him, but he can't go much further. The back rail mollied off by the CT side. Cole are here with four alive. Look at this. Boom. They stack into the site, wow. but it doesn't find anything. Zaiwu could like sense something wasn't right. Oh, yeah. The bomb plant could have been denied there by Rush, but he first had to deal with Apex and maybe leaving Zaiwu alive was his biggest mistake. Who's in with four in the round? Leaving it on blame in the blink of an eye. Down into B he goes. There's the peak and RPK there to round it out. That one gets snatched away from complexity with Zai Wu offering us one hell of a spray down. And it's crazy to think that, you know, in the current meta, it's you fake a plant and maybe draw out some grenades or you go for it and you get grenaded into oblivion. Yeah, we see it on the A site all the time. And so that's standard, yeah. but I actually have never seen anyone fake it out on B because it's less common to even go B, let alone get naded. But Carl had the stack. They were ready for it, man. And Vitality, they were even more ready. Zywoo read it like a book. And I think the reason Rush kills Apex then, not Zywoo on the plant, is he probably expected Zywoo to be behind default where most plants are. Poison, great shot to open up. Shox is gone. It's a crucial round for Cole's money. It will be bottomed out if they lose it. And Vitality, they've shown us presence towards B in this game. It's a great success as well. Through the smoke, Blame goes. I will switching. And well, he's gone as well. He's out of the round. Cole, five on three. It's fine having solo oboe at B because they're going to be able to hear Vitality running on this rotate, getting the bomb and going back or forward. 
at Apex, if he loses the bomb here, this is the round done. And they know that the CTs are aggressive there, so he goes and clears it on his own, and that's the bomb lost. It was already a rough round for Vitality, but that's just made it even harder. Now yeah, CTs have surrounded the packet. It's a bit of a weird one as well, because it's not even like he had the bomb from the get-go. Like, he actively picked it up and took it there. And, well, this has gone about oh, as well as okay. you would hope. Complexity locking in a sixth. Ooh. Apex is like, let me show you guys how it's done. And then just immediately dies like, oh, well, actually, yeah, bomb. yeah this one's over. Um, yeah. Also, a really good tactic to dodge those uh, nade stacks on the bomb plant okay. is to either leave the bomb in T spawn or ah. make sure your teammates always have it instead of you. So just hash that out in the beginning of the round yeah. for the first minute, throwing it back and forth. I think most people pick that up as well. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, I don't it's think a pretty I've common ever... tactic from yeah. what I can see. Everyone loves... 5G, you know, you press 5 and then you drop the bomb. Oh. Simple as that. I was just thinking maybe we were getting like new kind of like yeah. technology. I thought you meant like the mind control stuff, man. Yeah. Well, Nootropic's not a part of the conversation, but of course, Harry will somehow steer us there. And we're talking about AKs <laughs> finding some damage on A, but who's going to come out on top? So far, Poison's been eradicating and eliminated, and Apex doesn't Sorry. seem to be done. He has to go into a reload and config to somewhat maintain control. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How about that? <laughs> He's ready for it. And even though Cole are low, they've got the grenades. If they set up for the molly nade on the plant, they can just deny this, this bomb plant for vitality, but they're leaving. They're rotating. They're going back. It's like I said, man, call. you can't get hit by those nades if the bomb's in T-spawn. And they've listened. They've taken it out of this A site. And now they're like, let's go back to A. <laughs> and so, you know, they, they, I think they're hoping that Complexity have maybe pushed and prodded the ramp and seen that it's clear, maybe gone aggressive at short, didn't see anything. And to be fair, this has worked in the way that Vitality were hoping for, right? Complexity have actually moved away from the A site. Rush isn't even in it. He's holding off, playing for retake, going to try and stay alive for his old mate Oboe. It's important the shocks plants here because the nade could kill Zaiwu if it were to be him. But they've made the right call. Yep, here comes that grenade. Will it land? Uh, not quite. You're right, they're solo, 19 and 13. And it might just be so low that they've got to see you later. That's a surprise, man. Like, not even giving it a look, right? You can you can definitely trade to a win there, but they know that the money is not good, and this save would allow a buy in the follow-up, whereas the alternative is nowhere near as pretty. It would be a bit of a force for Cole. And so they give away five. They respect Vitality in their post-plants, as they should. And this is fine for Cole. This is still a really good CT side. Like, getting, you know, more than six at this point is... Cole are going to be happy. They're going to have not won the half maybe by the numbers, but in their heads. Right now it's Vitality though. Up to five, building and building in this T side. I was on the AWP as well. Yeah, Apex. Sparks of life at just the right time. Speaking of which, big shout out to Mr. MacMate in the chat. The one with the actual elegant mustache that Harry wishes he had. That is true. Now, of course, he's also a commentary, or excuse me, commentator over on the uh, Australian side of things. Way down under from where, like, Aza is from. Oh. Speaking of that, wow, what a shot. Oh, oh my on delivering. Give us one more, give us one more. Nope. But two is fine. Two is exactly fine for Poison and Complexity. Yeah. They're going to be okay with that. Poison's been the reason the Cole are in such a good position. He's always opening up with these kills to, to start the round, and that's often forcing Vitality into late B plays because they can barely get up the ramp. Oboe going back in. He's got the info. He's going to wait for the flash. Rush draws attention. Oboe goes back, but now he's trapped, and they're going to oh, overwhelm no. him. So much damage done by the duo on B, but not a kill to their name. Config is here before they're ready, and he's found a double as well. Bomb trying to cross Zyru with the shot, and now he's stuck in a one on two. Does he want to complicate matters or just go right into the belly of the beast, into the lion's den? Zywu moving around the smokes, trying to avoid the grenades. He's gone up above, but he knows the poison is closer, and Blame is dropped off as well. They're both going to swing him. Poison wins the round, and Cole, seven on this CT side. That's no bomb plant for Vitality, and you can look at their cash. I don't have to explain this to you. It's not great. I, I just, you know, you've got to give the respect to Complexity. It doesn't even matter what team you are right now. It doesn't matter where you're ranked. You have to sit there and say complexity are really bringing it to the table. Had 
Shocks Pog, but that is not a Pog moment for Shocks. And the hype is coming through on the cams of Cole, who are in control. I about to say, you done messed up because you made Oboe mad, but... Dangerous game. Hero AK on Shocks, though. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. Any more? Oboe's enjoying this, guys. Keep it coming. Any more for Obo? No, Zaiwu with the Deagle gets the better of him. Rushes here nice and early, but this time isn't looking a face like he did in that round prior. While this has happened, Config has pushed down the bottom of ramp as well. So it's not even like Vitality can rotate back at this point in time. Complexity have got all their bases covered. Oh, yeah, scary. you don't like it. Everybody felt that in that moment. Oh, dear. Peak by Rush, though. It's netted him three, and that's all he needs. My goodness. Vitality are getting made of mincemeat right here so far on this T side with five rounds. And it's not Taco Tuesday, but when it is, we'll let you know. Trust me. It'll be all you're hearing. But yeah, for, for Cole, right, we, we know that they have a strong CT side on this map, judging off of the three games they've played, so not a lot. But boy, is that showing up right now. Vitality, maybe they'll go back towards A late, right, after the AWP has gone for the peak. Poison has been aggressive, but this time it's Config through the smoke. Shocks is fine, so it's Config, and a kill found by Zywu at the top. He runs up short, he hits what's the spawn, happened? and I don't know what's going on, but great job for Jakey for keeping up with it. Somehow Vitality have kept a man up in this round. They're going to go back for the bomb, and this is where they can get in the heads of Cole. Blame and, and Zaiwu ran past each other at short side. Yeah, I really don't know how that I don't understand how that happened. That ended up being a very weird situation. A lot of team flashing. Yeah, they were, they were able to, to kind of make the best out of a very confusing spot, right? Zaiwu as well capitalizing on all that chaos to get in Ooh. to a very good position. And this B site is given over to Vitality for free. Now, when this bomb goes down, if you're complexity, you might be tempted to save. They're going to send poison oh, in dear. to see what you can find. Okay. And he's pretty deep with the AWP. A little deep. Vitality, they weren't ready for it, but he's missed that first shot. Given another chance, but Apex does get the better of him. And he's left on to Oboe to reclaim this B site, and he decides against it. But you've got to admire complexity for the sort of, you know, they want to put their neck out there. When these players are feeling, when you have poison that's popping off over on A ramp, it really does kind of set a tone if you're complexity. And that's the one way to keep vitality, respecting your movement across the map. They're going to go up to six, though. We look at the last round of this half, and well, for complexity, they've done pretty great thus far. Yeah, winning the half on CT Vertigo at this level, that's that's a great, great job. Like any level. Yeah. Not bad. I'll take it. This is the mess, right? So who gets through the short smoke while flash catches a second? I just pandemonium. Nothing else. Some team flashing in there from Cole, definitely. But not the end of the world, man. They've they've got a good half. Can they find the extra bonus round, the ninth? Or Vitality sneak it past the keeper? Scout on poison, Famous on rush. It's all they can afford. Yeah, no one likes to sneak this. Remember that, Hugo. Oh, with a lot of aggression right here and a ton of damage even at that. He takes some himself, but not nearly as much as he dished out and nowhere near the amount that Apex has done through the smoke. What a wild time over the A site. This is probably like the most B hits I've seen in a T side of Vertigo. And I think that that shows both how strong this complexity ramp hold is, right? The fact that you've dissuaded Vitality from really heading there all too much. But also, this B-site has been a bit of a reoccurring nightmare for Complexity. And in this round, the nightmare's back again. The nightman cometh. As Obo waits down here in mid. Can you hit the high note, Harry? Right now, we need a day man to step up, but he can't. Masuta deals with him. You know what they say, man? You gotta pay that troll toll. And they don't. Down in mid, they do deal with Masuta. Left into a 2 on 4 They almost are able to deal with Apex. RPK might have a few kills dead to rights here up on the construction. Ooh. 
Got it down to a two on three, but this is where you look to RPK to give us some answers and he shall provide. Deals with them both and locks in seven for Vitality. End of the first half and once again, things are very, very close, but is it gonna be complexity arriving in a big way over on their T-Hop? Or can Vitality take us all three? promised you and the one that you tuned in for and that's exactly what we look to continue to deliver to you complexity vitality complexity with playoff race right in the front of their mind vitality just looking to stay afloat here we look at vertigo and we see that it's been a pretty close match but we've seen this in the past hugo we've seen it in the past harry how do we make the most of this situation? Welcome back to the SL Pro League Season 12, everyone. We're getting down to the wire here, the nitty-gritty of what is the end of the season. And look at this from Cole. They are running the gauntlet in middle. Fast, ferocious, lots of words. As they charge into this okay. B site, they deal with RPK. They follow up onto Shoxi. Zaiwu back from the ramp, trying to get it back under control, and he is in with a quick double. But... There's more toil and trouble for Zaiwu as he's been flashed off and forced out by Blame F. It's complexity finding the pistol, guaranteeing nine. Are we going to see that famed force bite from Vitality, the same one that they found success with back on Nuke, if you remember? 
three out of four pistols for Cole in this series as well. It's worth noting there have been four spy wins or at least one back on Nuke uh, in the favor of Vitality, but pretty damn good when it comes to these pistol rounds are Cole. Smokes up on A for Oboke. Team are going to be running towards the ramp. Got that force, MP9. This is a bit of a Henry G classic. They're not going for the mid push though. However, the more MP9s, the merrier in the second round for uh, Team Vitality. Flash forward as well. They're going to get aggressive under Shox's reign. Apex peaks as the smoke blooms and takes blame. Get the gun out of there, quick. Don't want to give it to your opponents, but they might not have a choice. Might oh, not have it's a weird. say in the matter as Apex it's is weird. blocking in the smoke. He's dropped on the ramp, I think. Oh. I'm trying to work it out like you are. And Config swapped in the smoke. He has got the shot. And now two more on the A site. RPK and B watching for his flank. There could be a mid lurk, but right now it's just Cole grouped up working A. Oh, Comfy, he almost had a timing there. Shox was allowed to get out through Elevator. Does only have this Deagle, but he's got players nearby to support him. And wrapping the ramp is Masuta, who gets some damage off. But Config on a bit of a tear is able to see that one through to the very end. I don't even like seeing Shox looking this upset, man. Like, he's not having a very great game right now. He's like, I think he's like got four kills to his name. Yeah, four and 13. You can see the frustration, like, visibly get into him. And that's a real, that's like, you know, we've had him pogging, but now we have a feels bad man for Shox. I think it's like, I mean, I could be wrong. I just, you know, I study all the Twitch stuff, right? And I just think, like, maybe it's like a Monka W, Monkey, uh, Monka S type situation, you know? I always thought that was... Uh, I didn't even know what it was, man. I just heard DJ, like, Prius saying it all the time. In real life, though. Yeah, yeah like, real Significant life. Significant like, difference. Face to face. Like, he'll just constantly say it. But he... Yeah. Well, that's DJ Prius, his last name, which shall not be named. We're talking last about complexity. you're not allowed to say, of yeah. course. <laughs> Great name, though. RPK yeah. here. Bomb has been Quite and he uh, light up these DJ surnames on the other side as he moves in with the Deagle. <laughs> they try and do the damage, but peaked by the Mac 10 Oboe gets that locked in. Complexity, 11 on the board. Now we've got that buy round coming through for Vitality. This is where it gets excited again, Hugo. And now this is where we have the rifles coming out. Ooh. Yeah, times are tough for Vitality right now. Down, but not out. Four rounds behind. Complexity, a map already in their pocket. Their pick of Nuke. Gone their way. And Vitality, a big comeback needed here on the CT side. They often rely on their t halves on this map. Will that be their undoing? Back to A for Cole. We have the standard default. One in mid, one in B, three work in A, but not for long. Cole turned back. And actually, this is a great call because Vitality, while they're still two on B, they don't have this info yet. Apex is going to go back for it, re-aggressing on the short side. So it's going to work out soon that this will be a B play. And oh dear, they're getting aggressive. They're going to try and push out the bow. Shocks finding one. He will be traded. LBK somehow gets out alive as well. Oboe with the MAC-10 looking for a flashbang to pop himself into the site. There's already three CTs here. This is getting claustrophobic. RBK dropping one. Molly on the site. He's found a second. And the bomb might fall as well. It does. Absolutely swept out of B. It's just rush in middle. Nice spray on the MAC-10, but surely finding no more than one. And you want an answer to how RPK stayed alive right there? I'll make it real short and sweet for you, Hugo. Yeah, do it. He left before Shox died. Abandon your teammates, Trace. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that sometimes you have to throw your teammates to the wolves and turn tail and get the hell out of there. But not every time. Don't take that to heart. You'll get called a baiter, but... Really, you're an alpha. Yeah. A howling alpha. Ooh, Rush. He is in the danger zone right now. All alone. Nothing more than a deagle and a dream. Doesn't have the exoskeleton here. That's going to prove to be a big problem. Can't quite jump up and see Mizuta waiting around the corner. But a good hold, all things considered. Yeah. They try to get aggressive right there, and 
I don't really want to say that it paid out, but with RPK running away, that's why he turned tail as he smiles, looking onwardly. So many Molotovs on B as well, right? There's just nowhere to stand. Uh, RPK finds a spot. Shella. Not entirely. You know what? It's cool, man. It's cool. I appreciate you. I always wanted to be a little bit of a turtle, but speaking of turtling up, Oboe has to try to turtle away. Go back into his own shell. He catches a grenade down to 51. Ooh, Shark's timing is everything. They're bursting mid. He's dropped a nade and he's going to swing with it. Finding one, traded, but info at least. B, taken by Config, who drops the bomb on his entry and finds a kill onto Mizuka close on the stairs. Poison with the orb gone. RPK again, looking for the oh, hole. Oh, and he's got three once more. Just Obo left alone. And they know what to expect. They know where he is. Tap back onto RPK, but there's a further player in the site. Zaiwu is there. And Apex hears all of the movement. Every single footstep Obo makes. He's going to try and come in on this backstab. Obo moving up A very fast. Zaiwu's rotate is allowed oh. early. Oh, dear. Rip. Ah, dear. The sneak. Oh, he's just caught a timing. Okay, he's gone up the ramp at least. But Obo doesn't know about this rap from Apex. He's got no idea. And we all love Obo. We all do. But sadly, right this isn't one. happening. There it is. Apex with the swing. And the flank works wonders. CL right hand one. That that is that is all I have to say about that one, right? Yeah, <laughs> Obo can't you didn't even see, see him. him at all. Yeah, no idea. Thanks to the view model. But also RPK aim mapping in the B site helps tremendously over here for Vitality. He's now. the only reason that this game is still going, Trace. I'll go as far as saying that these two back to back 3K B holds without them, Cole would have already closed the map. Yes, indeed. Eagles in the mid. Bit of a boost. Yeah, no mid-air shots connecting today. Cole, they're going to bail out of middle. All right, all right, all right. It's going to be complexity easing in over here towards the B site. And actually not at all towards the B site as they tiptoe their way back around this time towards the ramp side. Zaiwu jump spot in this. He's just gotten a nice little bounty of information. Oh, there's a lot of bodies there. Zaiwu does not like what he sees. He's going to drop this close smoke. Gives them that one way down towards the ramp. Complexity. They've got this control. Shox is wrapping around from behind. It does dink blame. That's the one player that has armor here brought down within inches of his life. And for Vitality, they're already stacked very heavily in this A site, thanks to this rap from Shox. Really, RPK like doesn't even need to be hanging around at this point in time. Over towards B. Zaiwu holding down the... Yeah, well, actually, uh, not for very long, and Poison's okay. glocked down another. Okay, this was never meant to get excited. This was never meant to get this close, but they've got the bomb down. Ooh. That tag blame yeah. back on Shaw, who's thankfully still alive. And now it's all on Shoxy. He's had a very, very quiet game. This is the time. This is the chance for Shox to undo all that bad karma that's been following him around and pick up this one in the clutch. He taps the bomb, trying to bait a peek. They spam the smoke. Shox looking to capitalize, but they're just not giving the kill over. He's not really been left with any other oh choice boy. other than to get on the bomb. He's tapped it again. More shots come out, but now they tuck away. He has dealt with poison, but there's no time. Blame with three points of health. Sees that one through to the very end. Shox is dead to the bomb as well. And that is heartbreaking for Vitality as the pistols do it for complex. Exity, and now they've got so much money. And Vitality have none. E-code, right? Like, that's unbelievable. I don't know how they pulled that one off, but Vitality have lost every shred of cash that they had to show. All it took was some close rounds, right? Despite RPK's heroics, those rounds did come down to the wire time after time. And so the economical damage was being done over time by complexity. One round win is all it took to put their money in the dirt. And now... A chance to close out this series is in a 2-0.
force up for Vitality. They've got guns, but not much behind them. Zywoo will trade one in middle. That's a good opening kill. It's going to make uh, Complexity scared of middle for the possibility of a flank down the ladder. So do they stop and start to hold the, the back, or do they go a little more aggressive into the site and try and take map control? Oboe's holding B, and they go back to watch for their behind. Maybe even grouping up with Oboe. There's only one CT on that B-bomb site. It is RPK, though, who has been a pillar of consistency. Vitality boosting on A, getting that info that no one is up the top of the ramp. Will that force a rotation? Might need to, because RPK's got nothing but a fan mass with no grenades to hold on against this onslaught of Ts. You're going to talk about timing, and, well, for complexity right now, that's everything. Yeah, they hit the big green go button, and in comes this push. RPK this time, no heroics at the B site. Flashes to get poison in, but Apex okay. is able to get the better of him. The bombs dropped slightly outside of the site as well, and so now they have to try and retrieve that. That could be a bit of a, a problem here, especially with these rotations coming through. It's left to Zaiwoo, but we're in capable hands. Now down to the 1v1, and Zaiwoo with the clutch. Four in the round, and he does not take it easy on complexity 10 on the board now for vitality 21 kills for Zaiwu and complexity they're brought back down to earth hurtling down as now their money is once again dumpstered yeah, thrown off the side of the building by Zaiwu it's just so many individuals for vitality even though Shox is having a, a really tough game right now RPK has been stepping up Zaiwu with a huge hold to keep vitality in this one and now this is back and forth and back again. No buy for Cole, but they've done it with less before. And fast up the ramp is Blame with a Glock, dinking Zaiwu to 10. That's <laughs> that's quite the opener, but Zaiwu does win the fight. And so we're all fine and dandy. Vitality a man up, config in middle. Weird off angle to deal with. Mizuta should just be able to churn him up with the MP9. When's the peak? When's the peak? Is it coming? Ooh. There it is, yeah. Shadow advantage as well. He knows what to do. And this one should be done. Vitality 5 on 2. Apex on a fast flank. Confidence is starting to flow through the veins of Vitality as they get a little bit more in control. And there's still time for Dust 2 yet, right? Ooh. Didn't look like it. Complexity getting off to a nice little beginning here on their T side, winning the pistol, winning the conversions. But now we've got Vitality with the response. RPK is 110 ADR as well. Like him and Zaiwu giving us a great showing right now. And that's kind of inspiring the rest of Vitality to kick it up a notch. Complexity fast out through middle. It's a rinse and repeat of this pistol strategy where they flood construction, they deal with RPK and uh -oh. shocks. And now these rotations getting cut down by Poison. He controls the middle while the bomb is going down in B. And this is a really nice change. Wow. Poison with four. I love that, man. He hangs back in mid. One of the things that's been a bit of a problem is whenever Complexity get into that B site, they are at the full mercy of the rotates from Vitality. And early on, you know, maybe it wasn't posing you much of a problem, but now Vitality, you know, they're looking good again. They're, they're winning these, these retakes that maybe they shouldn't be. And so they leave Poison to cut off those points of rotation. He deals with them very, very well. And now it's Complexity, maybe about to be back in control of this matchup again. Because while there is an investment for Vitality, here and now if this one is a loss for the Frenchman then their eco up against 14. Nothing is sacred nothing is certain but config is going through the smoke Sai Wu's on the sandbag Apex is just backed out of shore Mizuta is still there though that smoke fades oh dear here comes a molly oh dear he's got the smoke but now they know he's here double grenade is available for complexity but Mizuta's trying to get a, trying to uh, get aggressive while they line up utility Kofik has the cover they didn't know he was there and he doubles up onto Zaiwu who leaves the sandbags not for long now he's left around Apex responds but a man down our vitality Cole don't need to rush this one. They can do what they want, go back to B even, but they're all up the top of ramp here for fight. Apex gets one above the smoke. Shock's re-aggressing, could be a danger, and it is for Poison. Another kill for Vitality, a four on three to a three on two. They turn the scales back in their favor. It's just so unsure of where every round is going, where this game is ending up. And now the bomb's been lost on short, smoked off by the French. And complexity, how do you get back into this one? A 
And Vitality fall off completely. They give back the bomb, they give up the site, they set up to play retake with Apex wrapping middle. Has that decision throwing a bit of a spanner in the works in this round? Because now there's 20 seconds left and Apex, they, they kind of gambled everything on this flank, finding success. They really did. RPK to hold down the site solo. So either it's RPK hot. wins it and they don't get the bomb down because they're still sneaking oh in, my. they get the kill. And so, yeah, man, they, they gambled everything on Apex's flank here and it really now needs to be worth it because as we've highlighted, Vitality are broke if they don't pick this round up. He's got an in, but he's missed the time. Timing, and now just has to dry peak short. He needs the double spray. You're asking a lot of Apex. Down with the first, but not the follow-up. Blame is there to hold on. Complexity with 14 now. And that money for Vitality, you know, you, you knew it was coming and it still doesn't make it any less sad to see. They've either got a four spy up against 14 and try and win around it, or they play for overtime. This has been an epic game though, right? Like just going back and forth. Like just so unsure as to where every round is going. That was a great try for Apex. He gets one, expect a closer player for the trade, but he backed off a little bit further. And so the spray misses. Now pistols, now playing for overtime, but Vitality not where they want to be. Complexity on the other hand, looking to guarantee themselves playoffs. 100%. And this win would do it. The maths checks out. The numbers are there. And Complexity are just two away from the playoffs. Vitality moving towards A as they lose the first man in the round. Four players here. Collar still defaulting. They're not even committed. There are three here, but they're holding for the CTs who get aggressive and walk into the crossfire. Config with three, Blame with another, and plenty of damage done by Cole as they find 15. But uh, that was only a, a bit of a throwaway round for Vitality, a bit of an eco as they come in now with, I want to say a big buy, but as big as they can get because one round away and this series is done. I did not think it would go this way. I expected three maps, but Cole have put up one hell of a fight, especially in that first half, denying on the CT side a good half for Vitality has had its issues here in the second. And now M4's out. No kit for the retake, limited utility as well. Poison's going through the smoke. Oh, Zywoo had the same idea though. They say great minds think alike, and it was those two orphans trying to battle in the smokes. Apex with one. Zywoo on this other side here. He does have a flash that he can try and pop himself in with. Poison spammed Apex with the AK and found him. Oh, and he's in oh, no. with another Poison, you nasty man. He's doubled up down at the bottom of ramp, and he's put this back in favor of complexity. If you're Apex, you are kicking yourself. You get spammed, pushed aggressively from short and you die to someone at ramp, giving over a man advantage when Zaiwu tries to trade it. And so now RPK and Masuta, it all lies on them. Now RPK has given us an absolutely blinder of, uh, an absolute blinder of a game. And he needs to stay true to that now more than ever. He's pushed mid, he knows that it's a B play. They hear the utility, Masuta's rotating, but RPK is taking a lengthy flank in through T spawn. Now, while this does cost time, it gives him an element of surprise, perhaps. However, Blame F is ready and waiting. And so, like, this flank might take ages to come through. It might be the thing that Vitality are gambling on. But if RPK doesn't win this immediate fight, then this round and this series is likely over. So it all hinges on that. And for RPK, he falls short. Masuta now left in the clutch. A 1v3, and Obo puts him down. It's complexity taking this series 2-0 and, and locking themselves into play.